My name is Thomas Wall. I'm an associate professor here at UCF in the Department for Civil, Environmental and Construction Engineering. Um, and I'm also a member of UCF Coastal, uh, the National Center for Integrated Coastal Research. My research focuses on extreme storm surges, um, extreme waves, but also extreme rainfall events. Basically anything that can lead to flooding, particularly in coastal areas, um, is part of the broader picture of the research that we do in my lab. So we study sea level rise, how sea level has changed in the past, how it may change in the future, um, how tides are affected by that, and then how storm surges can change because of more frequent or more intense hurricanes in, in places like Florida and then how that translates to flood risk and ultimately we want to help um, decision makers to make better informed decisions in terms of what we can do to mitigate the impacts of those changes. So the DoD recognizes that there is a risk um, that increases the vulnerability of those uh, installations, particularly in, in coastal regions. So um, there was a call for proposals um, a year and a half or two years ago um, from CERDEP, which is um, one of the research programs that the DoD is, is supporting. Um, and together with partners at Tulane University, they are leading the project. Um, and at um, Cal Poly in California and Virginia Tech, uh, we formed a, a team and uh, responded to this call for proposals. Um, and we have expertise on that team as it comes to the different changes that are taking place and increasing the vulnerabilities for those military installations. It's really bringing together these different pieces of changes in mean sea level, changes in land elevation, changes in tides and changes in storm surges and putting it together, it's almost like a puzzle, and putting the puzzle together and then providing information to the DoD um, to really better understand where those vulnerabilities are relatively higher or lower and again how they have changed in the past which then also gives a good idea of how they may change um, in the future. We also are part of a team that had recently a project funded by the National Academies of Sciences, um, the Gulf Research Program, and that's called the Mississippi Delta uh, Transitioning Initiative, um, the Miss Delta Project in short. And that is a massive $22 million project, the NAS, so the National Academies has really invested a lot of money um, into a big consortium of uh, universities along the Gulf. Uh, a big chunk of the funding will actually go towards workforce development. So we will work and train students, um, especially from underrepresented groups. Um, we have a UCF, of course, as a Hispanic serving institution, but there are a lot of um, HBCUs also involved in, in that project. Um, in the Mississippi Delta project, we also have social scientists because we want to work very closely with the communities. Um, and uh, geoscientists, engineers, uh, biologists. So it's, a, again, a very exciting experience to be part of, part of that team.